the cream of the crop. And fellas, the cream of the crop today is that Britney Spears is on the beach posting nudes again. You are. There it is. Hell yeah, boss. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good morning, and welcome to episode 1055 of Hard Factor. It is Friday, nice, October 7th, 2022. Congrats uh, for making it to the end of the week. Thank you for cheating on the news with us today. I've got some old school classics like uh, a little Biden time and some Britney Spears nudes, you know, Ooh. some classics like that in the Icon- cup of coffee. Icons of, uh, of, of America. right there. It really are. Really are. <laughs> and some fresh ingredients as well, though. You guys, you guys might like some of these new spices I got in there. Uh, that's what's up in the coffee on deck. Mark's got uh, some some admissions. So, well, are they admissions, Mark? Or you got you got you got something going on with law school, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Northeastern, <laughs> Northeastern's got some splaining to do. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, they're they're all lawyers, so they should be good at it, right? Yeah, so. you're gonna have. Well, are they? You're gonna have to. Oh, yeah. My, a lot of mystery around this uh, story, yeah. but it it is intriguing. And then Wes has the high five to buzz us into the weekend this week. That's right. Um, also, want to wish a uh, happy, I believe, 66th birthday to my mom, Dottie. Uh, I love nice. you, and I hope that your uh, eight to nine Bud Lights are extra cold tonight. <laughs> mm. Happy birthday, Dottie. Delicious. <laughs> happy birthday, Dottie. <laughs> I just drank a sip of water, you know, but Dottie, yeah, I'll replace yeah. it. I'll put a Bud Light in there later. Yeah. Okay. Drink a Bud Light for Dottie tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice. Wes, what's in the high fiver? I mean, um, any, any so teasers? we got uh, any teasers. Yeah, I got I'm going to start off. I'm, I am wearing my Pitbull shirt, which, uh, you know, might be a Pitbull shirt. My anti Pitbull shirt, which no. might be. Oh, a hint. I, yeah. Yeah. Some tough one. Um, we're going to do um, some polls, some voicemails and some comments. Um, you know, a little hodgepodge. Fantastic. Yeah. Got some great voicemails. Fantastic. You guys got any big, big plans this weekend? Anything going on? Huh? Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. My sister and niece are here. I'm going to go see the bats today. I'm going to go to ACL Ooh. tomorrow. Maybe some pumpkin patching on Saturday. I got, I got, I got all sorts of plans. Wow, that is an Austin weekend right yeah, there. Big time. Bats, ACL, pumpkin patching. While we're recording, they're at um, for the first time they're at uh, the Whole Foods, the the big Whole Foods, which is a, like they're that's a huge Austin weekend, right? They're going to see that. I, I used to yeah, work there, so I don't need to be there. I don't want yeah. to bump into my old coworkers. So I was like, why don't you go do that? Right, that's the building you would go to. Correct. A lot. Yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. Bump into all sorts of coworkers and just in the grocery store because anytime they get a break they just take the elevator down and get a snack or whatever you know so. just spend their money at whole foods yeah yeah mm-hmm. not that i don't like my coworkers, it's just awkward always it's like hey what are you, you still doing like a podcast or you know like and i'm like yeah you still doing like the the tech shit and they're like yeah yeah sweet <laughs> yeah sweet <laughs> well mark i hope that uh you don't recognize anybody at acl but that could just be because you're hammered <laughs> Yeah. No, I won't be too hammered because the niece is here. But yeah, I'll, I'll work and have a fun time. I'm gonna be a responsible uncle this weekend. Yeah. Oh, that's good of you. Yeah. Nice. That's good of you. That's nice. What two more guys? weddings for me. Weddings. No more. No days off again. When are you done with the weddings? <laughs> <laughs> I do have. A, I do have a break next weekend. Oh, thank, thank God. Otherwise, I'm gonna blow my brains out. Uh, my- October's one of the only nice. W- temperature months in texas so it's, the, it's the it's, it's may and october are the biggest wedding months in it's like vegas here those are like the big wedding months in vegas yeah. like those yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So right I, I strike while the iron's hot <laughs> exactly yeah anywhere where it's anywhere where uh they love tacos it's usually uh pretty hot in mm-hmm. those summer months so you're gonna yeah. sleep next weekend yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna hopefully sleep yeah I what about mean, you? Well, you just had the parents yeah. in town. You got anything going on? Man, I think I'm just, I may, oh, I may finally fix out my main front door light fixture, but it's like 25 feet tall. So oh, you need a ladder. Oh, big ladder. ladder. It's yeah. going to be quite an operation. Yeah. So 
<laughs> gonna need a ladder for that one. It's gonna be a lot of me just like standing on the floor looking at it, smoking weed, and being like, "Yeah, all right, I, I think know. if I do this or that, and then it'll once I finally decide to climb up and do it, it'll take like twenty five minutes, but it's gonna be like hours of just staring at it to prepare." <laughs> so, <Hilarious. yeah. laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else I'll fit in there besides yeah. that, but yeah. Uh, you guys ready to do the news? Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Cup of coffee in the big time is up first. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. Top trending news stories at the time of taping. But first, a fun fact from uh, listener Andrew Parker in Leeds, England, wearing the Leeds uh, kit right now. Uh, the, the fun fact is they kept studying those great white hunting orcas in Mosel Bay, South Africa this summer. The Discovery Channel did. They didn't find. And, they didn't like what they found, did they? Well, it's impressive, Mark, what they yeah. found. Uh, not only are they eating those giant livers whole out of the great whites, uh, they also found that great whites, in fact, have a tight circular swim pattern uh, that's innate in their DNA to try and elude orcas uh, when they get chased by them, which usually doesn't work because they usually get killed by them. And they also have a flight response that somehow sends out a signal for all great whites to avoid the area of the attack for about seven full weeks. And so, yeah, I remember they, they said that they all, the great whites disappeared from that one area after right. the first one was killed. So yeah. great whites have developed survival tactics because of orcas. Well, this Correct, has been happening Mark, for centuries. Yeah, yeah that's, it's but that's what I'm millennia. saying. But they had yeah. to do it because of orcas, because great whites, you're like, oh, yep. great whites are, are alpha or apex predators. They're just not. They're, clear. they're not at all. No, even though it's rare fish they had, they've yep. had to evolve to, to get away from workers. Yep. Yeah. So even though it's rarely filmed and it hasn't really been filmed at all until we have drone cameras for humans, uh, orcas have been dominating great whites so long. It is in the great white DNA yes. to try to avoid them. They shit their little wet fins. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that, that's how dominant they are over great whites. It's been that's scary. Yeah. It's that's been a long, long time. <laughs> that's cool. One good thing about orcas. Right. Yeah. yeah. When they're around, you're not going to get bit by a great white. This uh, is troubling. Humpback whales apparently like are like uh, carriers for seals because they, they don't they don't like the orcas eating the seals. So the humpback whales will flip on their backs and let seals use them as like a, oh, aircraft, like a naval carrier. Right. Humpbacks yeah. are definitely a nicer whale. Yeah. They're like, come on, lay on my back. Oh, wait. No, <laughs> now the orcas are biting me. Right. Yeah. I'll be your human shield. Yeah. Your whale shield. Yeah. Seal. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, orcas are dominant. Fun fact from Andrew Parker. Uh, bonus dog. Fun fact. I slept better for the first time, I think, in years, leaving my cell phone outside the bedroom. Just did it on accident. Like, we you know, when I wasn't drunk, when I wasn't, didn't do it like and sure. don't remember, but did it and remembered slept like a baby. It was fantastic. Wow. Why is that? Because you weren't looking at it all night or what? I had no desire to like check, you know, I didn't have to check anything. Didn't have to like read yeah. anything on the way to bed. Hmm. Just left the old phone out of the bedroom. It's nice. It's smart because when you look at the phone, you're awake. Like it, the lights and shit. Like you, it's right. even if you get up in the middle of the night to pee, if you look at the phone, it's yeah. not a good idea. Yeah, I do that every so. morning. Yeah. yeah, same here. I I, I like for, I grab for it like it's instinctual. So like yeah. when it's not in there, you just don't have those instincts. You're good. Smart. So. Oh. Happened on accident. Okay, uh, let's move on to real news, fellas. Uh, bad news comes in threes, they always say. And in this case, we're going to do a little uh, new mini segment called Bad News Comes in Three Tweets. Okay. So uh, first up, uh, at Reuters tweets, a former policeman killed 38 people, including oh. 22 children, in a knife and gun rampage at a daycare center in Thailand, later shooting dead his wife and child at their home before turning in his, wep- his weapon on himself, turning his weapon on himself, police said, uh, yeah, but one of the worst headlines of all time. Uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. So the daycares yep. in Thailand are haggling the parents too, right? With the- no, Mark, I think oh, that's wow. that's uh, insanity right oh, there. Okay. Uh, that man, and uh, that is sad. Uh, very sad. It, it, right after we covered the Russia one at the elementary school, like last week, it's crazy. I mean, people always talk about, well, it's a uniquely U.S. problem, and this year it's not. Uh, there's a lot of crazy school shootings going on everywhere all over the globe. Bad. Yes. What's the equivalent bad. for Jupiter for, for men? Is it also Jupiter? I think it's Jupiter, it's like Jupiter, we were saying yeah. yesterday, because we got fat. The women were going it's crazy Jupiter. first. Then we got fatter. 
then more school shoot da- dads play. are using their kids as human shields this ex-cop sh- killed yeah. a bunch of kids this is not this is not okay Ah, Mark, Jupiter is at work. They come in threes, fellas. So there's two more. Uh, more bad news. Here's another tweet. Uh, at Real Clear Investigations tweets, new, more than 200,000 federal bureaucrats across federal, federal agencies have been granted the authority to carry firearms and make arrests, according to uh, statistics. That's more than the 186,000 Americans serving in the U.S. Marine Corps. Uh, so... For the first time ever, our, our, to this? our like, federal bureaucracy agents, federal agents who are uh, who are authorized to carry weaponry and, and arrest U.S. citizens is larger than the Marine Corps. So uh, uh, federal just, agents mad because I'm flagrant. Right. It's just like that probably not great like news, right? Like, yeah, it's a lot. Of, that's a lot of federal agents. <laughs> we have less. We have way less like um, state and local cops right right yeah they're, they're having trouble but the feds, trouble. Uh, the feds are okay not so much Getting why'd ready. they do that i don't know Wes. it's uh it's been a trend since the 90s that's, i was reading and it's just been question. growing and growing and that's they a question for reddit Wes. yeah yeah wow. the 4chan, 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 4chan 4chan's got yeah. definitely got the answer I, I think it's just they've been growing the agencies and uh they don't want to stop so uh they're getting it's, scarily big <laughs> it's undercover martial law man yeah <laughs> the yeah. deep state i'll tell you I mean, yeah you just you just mentioning that you're going to get a couple dms now uh, yeah yeah we're so. on some list now anyways that's no, a I'm crazy saying study we'll get someone that will be mm-hmm. willing to explain to him yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah send me uh send yeah. me all your explanations so i can block you immediately <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay one more bad tweet guys the deep state though does scare me a little bit uh despite the answer probably being only on 4chan. And he, this is the last bad tweet. Uh, BNO News at BNO News tweets update death toll for mass shooting in southwest Mexico rises to 18, including mayor. They killed so, the mayor. Uh, Did yeah, they kill crime mayors organization. Yeah. Every day in Mexico, it seems like being a mayor is the most dangerous job in the world. A Mexican mayor, the most dangerous job. Well, in the world. unless you're corrupt, then it's an awesome job. Well, but, even yeah. if well, you're for, corrupt, for you're eventually going to get fucking killed. Yeah. 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 I think like there's, there's definitely like an expiration date. There is an expert. Quickest shade. way to die is saying that you're going to clean up the cartels. If you run on that I shouldn't be laughing. The video is yeah, not, not so funny. fucking terrifying. Yeah. Oh, if damn, if, I if, if you see this video, because the, they you see that house it was riddled with bullets. Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. Mark, they show the in, there's a video on Twitter of the inside of the house. You can see the, like and they don't blur anything out. It's oh, just like you, it's fucking nuts. What, what's going on in Mexico with the cartel? It was uh, cartel violence. related, right? Oh, like, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's a, well, it's an organized crime. So I'm assuming, yeah, yeah drug cartel of some, some sort. Um, yeah. So the, be, those are three bad tweets, right? Pretty, pretty bad. Three, yeah. Comes in threes. I got another bad one for you. So mm. later. Oh, later. Okay. Well, uh, here's another tweet. This one's just funny to soften the blow of the first three bad ones. Uh, it says Bucks wide receiver Cole Beasley has uh, decided to retire effective immediately. Uh, uh, the uh, the agents inform um, uh, th- whoever posted this that uh, he is ready to be with his family after playing in 11 seasons. And it's time uh, that he is a full time dad and husband. And then uh, and then the replies oh. to this tweet were just fucking amazing. This he's one's a, incredible. He's a, he's a buccaneer. And then like uh, this, this guy, Lou A replies, uh, Giselle seeing Cole, Cole Beasley re- retire <laughs> for his family while Tom Brady returned to play another season. It's just the Peter Griffith uh, from Family Guy smoking a cig in the dark. Like <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah, it was, it was there was a lot of great replies. Pro Brady, pro Giselle. Oh. It's oh, my God. Cole, that's funny. Yeah. Cole Giselle Beasley's, can't be happy. Yeah, he like basically subtweet retired Tom Brady. He, he like he, he cucked he cucked Tom Brady so hard. He so he the Bucks had like three receivers get injured, right? Julio Jones was out for a couple weeks. I think and he's Beasley back. was just a filling guy, right? And Godwin was injured for a couple weeks. He's back and like uh, someone uh, Mike Evans Gage. was suspended. Mike Evans was Julio suspended Jones, for getting in yeah, a fight. Mike Evans, yeah. So they were down to no receivers. So they activated Cole Beasley for one week. He comes in, gets on TV, and then. Obviously, is not going to play anymore because all those. Oh, guys did you are see back. when he tripped? He yeah. tripped at the end of the game when he. They actually maybe could have won that game yeah. had he not tripped and not yeah. gotten he's like out. he fucked up. Yeah, he's <laughs> going. Stri- he was going straight back to the practice squad, anyways. Then he makes a huge <laughs> announcement that he's retiring for family purposes. Right, that's not fu- that was fucked up. He hates Tom Brady. He does. He, he was, hates Tom Brady. Well, I think what happened, he got embarrassed, Mark, on that play. He did, yeah. he doesn't like how that's well, Tom how Brady gonna- probably embarrassed him in the locker room. He probably was like 
Cole, probably so because yeah, yeah. Cole Beasley kind of did cost them the, the chance at a comeback. Tom Brady probably game. embarrassed in the locker and, room, and Cole Beasley said, "I'm going to retire and say it's for my family." You piece of shit. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> he, he doesn't because yeah. I guarantee you, Cole Beasley he had a pretty good career, right? Eleven yeah, he years. Did. His last play, Bills, his yeah. last play was accidentally going down for the Buccaneers when they were trying to come back. Well, against the I mean, he took Tom Brady and, down with him on that trip. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, he got him back. He got yeah. the last laugh on that. He did. Although TB12 seems like he's married to the game, though. He's just he's sticking through with it. So, yeah, that's his his what gets him through the divorce is more football. <laughs> right. I'm just going to keep throwing passes. <laughs> yeah. Not Cole Beasley. Yeah. Water. <laughs> better players. <laughs> Mike Evans would never do that to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, also another update on the almost legal situations. Uh, Twitter apparently is not wanting to take um, a a financed uh, amount of cash from Elon. So uh, they're, they, want, they are they want they're like, all liquid. They're, they're, yeah, they, they want all cash. So that, that could be a, a, a big, uh, a big issue. That's, oh, my God. That's Shit or get off the pot, Elon. Jesus Christ. Yes. Well, no, that now it's like it's, it's just both of them are annoyingly yeah. dramatic about the whole thing. OK, let's move on to Ugandan. I hope he, I hope he buys it and just destroys it. Just yeah, turns it that would be I hope ridiculous. he turns off the keys day one. He just turns it off. Yeah, but then TikTok would become more important. TikTok sucks. I know, right. but still be funny. That's true. It'd be, it would be hilarious. OK, let's move it to something else I think is very funny. Ugandan general and son of president for life Museveni of Uganda. He's been president forever over there. Uh, but we're talking about his son, Muhuzi uh, Kainarugaba. Uh, and uh, he, this guy, uh, Museveni's son, Mahuzi, he has had a busy week. He started off by offering 100 cattle uh, to marry Italian prime minister or, you know, prime minister elect Giorgia Maloney. Um, and this blonde Italian woman is just driving conservative men all over the world absolutely bonkers. Wait, by he, he, he <laughs> thought he could get her for 100 cattle? Yeah, 100 cattle. He offered it on Twitter. And he, and, and like, she is just like, you know, she's like just a normal looking blonde Italian chick who just posts normal shit online. Like she's wearing a cardigan and she says, we're ready to put our faces on doing my best to solve the problems of Italians in this very complex and delicate phase. And for some reason, her just saying that kind of stuff drives the conservative men of the world just ape shit. And they are yeah. tripping all over it's, themselves to get like with if, this woman. It's like, look, uh, it's like if like MTG was present, guys would. You know, guys are already tripping over it to yeah. get to her. It's she's she's the prime minister. You know, she's oh, the yeah. top top dog. And and yeah, it's it's got yeah, yeah she's driving guys crazy. Mark, she drove Mahuzi so crazy. He offered yeah. those 100 cattle. Mark, he is already married with three children. <laughs> and he, uh, he offered. He made that offer of marriage on He'd top of his, his existing family, family like that. Next, yeah. next, <laughs> next step after offering 100 cattle is kidnapping every time. Yeah, if you I refuse mean, 100 cattle, <laughs> the next step is you're getting kidnapped. Well, she can't go visit this this area. Yeah. No, no, never. She's no. never going to Uganda. She's so no. freaked her, out. Her Guaranteed. team has Uganda on a <laughs> no fly list. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she didn't take my 100 cattle. Kidnapper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although she would be treated like a queen. So, yeah, but she probably wants to avoid it. And uh, while Maloney, as you guys mentioned, uh, smartly did not respond to Mahuzi's uh, proposal, Mahuzi yeah. thought better of it and probably got screamed at by his wife and kids. And 130 final off for cattle. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he took it down before yeah. making before up in the cows, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> but even though he took that tweet down, he had to make some more waves because Mahuzi ain't no bitch and he's not going out like that this week. So. What Mahuzi's decided to do, he decided to get on the news and say that his army, because he, he was genocide, the, the commit basically was he said <laughs> he was saying he, his army, he's the ground forces commander of Uganda. He says, look, I could take Nairobi. I could capture Nairobi, Kenya in two weeks. The capital. No problem. If my dad would let yeah. me woman scorns Mahuzi genocide. <laughs> Yeah, genocide. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'd kill all of Kenya if I could, yeah. if my dad would let me. All right, I'm <laughs> chopping off 20,000 hands. That's right. <laughs> Basically, yeah. and then immediately Jesus. his father, President Museveni of Uganda for life, apologized to Kenya, uh, a very close uh, East African uh, neighbor of theirs, and then fired his son, Mahuzi, as the country's ground forces commander. That's good. <laughs> but no, 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 Mark. But at the same time, as Promoting firing him, him as, the, as the ground forces commander, he promoted his son, yeah. Mahuzi, to be the youngest general 
in the Ugandan army oh, today, wow. probably several ranks above his old role and of ground fiercest. forces. Yeah, yeah, he's like, finally, yeah. son. Yeah. So sure what a we... wild ride. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is not good. This is this is a lot of people's deaths about to happen for sure. Uh, yeah. You think? I don't know. I mean, congrats uh, to Mahuzi. Uh, Mahuzi. Uh, this is how every genocide starts. Mahuzi's going to start a war. What a yeah. promotion for him, though. What a oh, yeah. And uh, it's big for, uh, you know, for Georgia. She knows now that she has like an African warlord who would do anything for her. This is like the scene in the movies, like um, uh, like, like any mafia movie, like Goodfellas, where like the waiter, uh, you know, like pisses off Joe Pesci and he just kills him. Like right. the next the next like person that bumps into Mahosi is getting killed. Like, it feels, Mark, you're you're right. It feels yeah. a lot like when Joe Pesci got made in yes. in in uh, Goodfellas. And then that ended up being a mistake in the end. Yeah. And then it had to be corrected later on. That, so I, I hear, yeah, I hear you, you on know, that. Anytime they give Joe Pesci like, uh, you know, yeah. a, a promotion, it usually ends up poorly for, for a lot of folks. But who's he has put Pesci vibes? Yeah. <laughs> Big time. He's probably got a gold, golden eagle somewhere. Oh, he's got gold naked. Desert case, eagle. Sure. I mean, yeah. so yeah. much gold. Yeah. He's got a lot of gold at his compound. Yeah. Uh, but I would like to say congrats to him. Congrats on the promotion, General yeah. Mahuzi, youngest general in Uganda right now. So don't invade anybody, though. That's yeah. Don't kill your own people. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do any of that, even though it's very tempting. I know. Uh, <laughs> keeping it in politics real quick, fellas, for a short Biden time. Let's follow up on the OPEC story from yesterday to see the president's response uh, to the news that OPEC is greatly decreasing oil output, despite President Biden fist bumping the Saudi crown prince just this summer. Uh, and here is the clip uh, from the White House on Thursday. No, the, 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 the trip was not essentially for oil. The trip was about the Middle East and about Israel and, and rationalization of positions. But it is a disappointment, and it says that there are problems. Are you worried about it? He's not He's walking away. He's doing the Homer Simpson. He's doing the Homer Simpson of the bush. Yeah. He did the Homer Simpson thing. The backing away is incredible. It took like eight steps backwards. Yeah, that's the longest walk backwards I've ever seen. Before turning around. Smiling and waving. <laughs> uh, it, was like a, it was like a dare. Yeah, it was awesome. It was he literally was, Biden time. He proved he can't he can walk backwards without tripping over his feet. Yeah, yeah. that's Watch. true. It's true. He didn't know what else to do. It was just Biden time out there. He yeah. was just walking back. Interview over. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, yeah. So um, he walked away and he said it's not good, which obviously it's not good. Um, no, if it's you're following good. gas prices and whatnot. Uh, and also, uh, here's the reaction to the decision that uh, definitely wasn't about oil. You know, he didn't say anything about this in his stated remarks, but the Wall Street Journal reports uh, that um, the U.S. plans to ease Venezuela's sanctions, enabling Chevron to pump oil. <clears throat> so that is probably where the U.S. is turning to, to get more oil from next. Taking it to the Internet at that's Go good. Or I mean, well. Venezuela might be bad, but that's good, right? Well, to get more oil, yeah. yeah. It, taking it to the internet, at Go Orwell, Orwell replies to this uh, Wall Street Journal um, editor and says, wow, what an amazing deal for the U.S. Venezuela gets to resume pumping oil and pulling in additional revenue, uh, plus they receive $3.5 billion in cash. Meanwhile, the U.S. gets a promise uh, that holds absolutely no weight that Venezuela will, will return to talks about having elections. Yeah, so right. this right. is Nicolas Maduro, the peop the the. Um, dictator that Trump tried to get removed uh, when he was in power, uh, and then now uh, there was Biden two presidents, is right? Two, two, turning two, to them. Two well, no, Maduro two. is uh, now. You know, he's the he's, he's, he's the, the um, communist dictator who is yeah. in charge of Venezuela currently, and who yeah. Biden is would allow to drill this oil. Apologies or, you know, to work you with. Know, Venezuelans and people with family there and stuff. I know little about it. I was specifically speaking about uh, selfishly the American oil supplies when I said that's a good thing. You know. Obviously. Right, it's he would be Obviously, paying the communist Maduro government might not be a great the, guy for the oil. Yeah, the stuff uh, going on there. Yeah, you know. Right, no. So, but Mark, but to that oil point, for us to that point, Mark. So this year, twenty twenty two, we tried to run to the Saudis for more more oil publicly. Right. That didn't work. Those and are now bad guys too. We're trying to so, run yeah. to Venezuela to avoid pumping more of our own gas. The bad guys could have the, do the good oil. 
but we, no, we have it too. We just don't yeah. want to pump any of our own. And that is truly Biden time. If I've ever seen it right. um, run to the Saudis, run to Venezuela. Don't do it in your own backyard. Taking it back I'm to Italy. Eat. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, he may want to consider it. Taking it back to Italy for a recent trending video posted by the Alpini. Actually, before we leave Biden time, check this one out. Bonus dog Biden time real quick. Thank you very much. That was very nice of you from the Ohio State. <laughs> and we have a running battle in my office because we have some that went to that other Ohio University. And it's no, constant. No but I... Look, folks, uh, Arvid, uh, you guys know the other one, the other, the other Wisconsin, the other, yeah, the other, the other Ohio University. What is it? What is he? He meant to say Michigan. He Ohio. Just doesn't, his brain doesn't work. Oh, okay. Um, Actually, Ohio. Yeah. No, Michigan versus Ohio State. Oh. He just doesn't. He was like the other Ohio University. He doesn't really he doesn't remember that it's Michigan, Ohio State. University of Columbus. No, it's Michigan, Ohio State. That's the rivalry. We're talking about Western Ohio. <laughs> No, he's not. He just doesn't remember that it's Michigan, Ohio State. Right. Um, <laughs> that was at that's a meeting. How, that's uh, how you interpreted it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. What, what, it's, it, there's, what's the other Ohio university that has a big rivalry with Ohio State? Uh, oh, the Ohio. What's what's Ohio, what's Ohio's mascot? Ohio uh, University. Oh, yeah. Ohio University. Duh. It's a huge rivalry. They're the. Uh, they're no, Athens. not a rivalry at all. They're in Athens. They're the. Um, mm -hmm. Not a rivalry. The green. The Green Fury, yeah, right? They're in, Ath they're in Athens. <laughs> yeah, they're. No, he just Athens. doesn't remember that it's Ohio State and Michigan. <laughs> Bob, he has dementia. Bob um, versus uh, the Buckeyes. Huge <laughs> <right. You'd> rivalry. <laughs> yeah, taking it back to Italy uh, for a recent trending video uh, posted by the Alpini, uh, which is the mountain division of the Italian Army. Uh, Wes would not approve of the logo, so I'm not going to show Ooh. it to you guys. Uh, the Facebook mm. feed of the of the Alpini, Alpini the caption read. Uh, video, video, moments of fear during the high altitude exercises of the Alpine troops in Murano, South Tyrol. A helicopter overturned, perhaps due to strong wind or a breakdown, and risked crashing into rocks. The pilot, however, thanks to his skill and cold blood, managed to bring it back up, avoiding the worst. The pilot and Alpine captain described it as a miracle. And how fucking crazy is that video? You're going to need some yeah, new upholstery insane. on the seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh, this man. thing is like, it's a helicopter and it's just like right on this mountain ridge and it fucking flips over on accident. And it looks oh. like it's just about to explode. And somehow yeah, the pilot yeah, gets yeah. it to level out yeah, before it crashes. Works out. I had sex with your wife and then crap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the pilot that you never want to fly with again or o the only pilot you'll ever fly with. Again. I wouldn't, get, I, would, I wouldn't get in a helicopter ever again. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. It might scare you away from avionics in general. Like yeah. you just don't fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You I'm definitely never get in a helicopter ever again. Yeah. yeah. That's so fucking terrifying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they described the rock it as exercises a, as a again. Yeah. <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, high it's wind win rock exercises it's again. It's windier no, thank you. today than yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's even windier. You want? Yeah, being in the Alpini seems like it would be kind of hard. Yeah. So, from one exotic location Was to it a another, red bird? To close this one out. Was What's it a that? red bird on the logo? Oh, Wes, you don't even. You don't even. <laughs> there's like words. There's like a, it's very <laughs> aggressive, green and red, and uh, yeah, it's a it's like a circle with with I a slash. Up. It's just it's. It's uh, oh, just look up yeah. Alpini. Alpini yeah. logo. It's so weird Al looking. What is Italian that? army? Yeah. Is yeah. It not the Alpine. It's like a Dr. Seuss racist logo. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's weird. The Alpini. It says um, N-A-Z on it's it. It's Alpine what? except with an I instead of the last E, e mark. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, none of that. Okay. E. Which takes for us to from one exotic location to another for <laughs> the cream of the crop. And fellas, the cream of the crap today is that Britney Spears is on the beach posting nudes again. <laughs> and we're all here for it. Just like every time. There's the first one she posted to uh, massive Whoa. approval on Instagram. And uh, uh, it's just, she's all covered in sand. There she is. And there's uh, some clear blue water behind she's her on the beach. covering her nipples, but not her vagina. No, she's letting it fly. Well, she covered that with a heart, the though, heart. Mark. Yeah. A heart, uh, a uh, but yeah. she also could have. 
put her hands away and covered her nipples with hearts. Yeah, I'm nope. saying like just in, in general, that's a more vulgar thing to have your claim. The folks, out. The, the folks in the real life situation are getting the full show. Right, on, like on the right. bottom. You'd think yeah. in real life she'd cover her clam and then let the breasts out. That's less vulgar. Mm-hmm. She's she's doing the opposite. She yeah, but it's hotter that hang she's out. touching her breasts. Okay, yeah. maybe she's touching her. But it looks like she's she touching. likes the nipple stimulation. I think yeah. Mark is the, is the thing of it. Yeah, it's a hotter pose for sure. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, I'm here for it as as we all there are she every goes time. Same pose. <laughs> oh, I mean, just so many of the poses of where is she? Breast together, but she, it looks like she's at a sandals based on the photograph. I'm surprised there's not seven million um, dudes with cameras behind her. No, no, no. It, it, uh, they must be at a nice, nice resort because, yeah. like, it, the, you can tell that the other people are being kept away down the beach. But there is the top commenter has a good point. He's like, they're letting Britney do this, but they're like censoring normal folks shit, like, which is good point. Like Instagram, let everybody post their nudes, right? Okay, not just Britney. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, so TikTok uh, would have a conniption if they saw that. Oh, Brittany is never going on TikTok. She, no, she can't. She, they would delete her account before she even created it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not only that, guys, not only is Brittany posting these nudes that everybody loves and is just absolutely enjoying. I mean, millions of likes on each of those photos. Photos it bil- um, should be billions. Yeah. It really should be. Uh, but. Uh, Brittany made further waves, trending waves this week by telling her mom, Lynn Spears, to go fuck herself in a different Instagram post on Wednesday that's since been deleted. Uh, Brittany still hasn't forgiven her family uh, members for not sticking up for her against her father and the conservatorship for those 13 years, I believe. Yeah. And I mean, personally, it was a long time. It's tough. To right. It just in it last year. I can't fucking blame her. Um, and she like I said, she did delete the post where she told her mom uh, to go fuck <laughs> this off. Is so what go Brit- fuck herself. This is what Britney does, though. Every time yeah. her mom pisses her off. Here come the nudes. Yep. Every so, time. Yep. It's, so her it's, mom- it's amazing. So she was like, go fuck yourself. And then she st- she deleted that post, Wes, and then started yeah, posting. Oh, the yeah. Nudes. She's beefing with her mom. Oh, yeah. 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 We should just yeah. send her antagonizing fuck notes in. from her mom. Like, yeah. ready. Yeah. Because yeah. she's going to go to the beach and have fun. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, as we all should. I mean, one last time this summer, you know, if you're still somewhere where you can get out to the beach. October is the last month for it. So that's awesome. Uh, go show that's, your claim. That is a cream of the crop worthy uh, cream of the crop. Yeah. Oh, man. Britney's nudes are always cream of the crop. Um, yeah. And the cream of the crop today was brought to you by my bookie. Uh, you guys know football, right? Pick winners You're all the time. Right. You damn right we do. Mm-hmm. Damn right you do. I see you guys do it all the time. So yeah. why not get paid for them at my bookie? Uh, yeah. Whether you're betting on LSU and Leeds every single week, like me, and you know doing it regardless of the strategy there, uh, or other games that may exist in the sports world, like Man U, Ronaldo hitting the post in the Europa League, uh, or I don't know, maybe the NFL. Ever heard of it? Uh huh. That's a lot of games. Ever heard of it? Sunday the ticket. The Britney Sp- Spears of sports. Oh, it really is. Yeah. So voluptuous. Ever heard of a Sunday ticket? Uh, mm-hmm. Sitting there watching the red zone action on the board. Ever heard of it? Steak dinners. The works. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ever heard of it? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, bet single game spreads, money lines, or parlay multiple together to increase your payouts. Low contest entry fee- fees and over half a million to be won. Make it so you do not have to be a pro gambler to have fun at my bookie. You can do it at any level. Uh, getting started is easy. Just visit mybookie.ag and use promo code FACTOR uh, on your first deposit to secure a double deposit bonus. That's promo code FACTOR to get your first deposit matched dollar for dollar all the way up to a thousand bucks. Nice promotion. Dollar for dollar match up to a thousand. My bookie good, yeah. is a proven sports book that makes it simple to bet and win. So make this your winning season exclusively at my bookie. Hell yeah. You guys look uh, uh, semi intelligent. You're not fans of stiff shirts, right? No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, no. no. You're not like an alien that doesn't know anything about this planet and they put on a stiff shirt like this will work. No. You don't want ugly stiff shirts. You don't want. That. I can't. Remember, I can't tell you the first time I put on a, a jersey, I, which was like life changing to me. Exactly. Well, how about Never the jersey of dress shirts? Will Mizzen and Maine, yeah. uh, who is our sponsor? Thank God, uh, because they sent us some shirts, and they're the best shirts we've ever worn in our lives. Uh, Mizzen and Maine are the inventors of the performance fabric dress shirt. They hate uncomfort so much mm. that they made the most lightweight, breathable, and moisture wicking. Uh, dress shirt you can buy. They're just like, I hate uncomfort. Got to do it's, something about this. They did. 
Yeah. They did so well. And it's like putting on a jersey again all over again. It's like exactly. you didn't know a dress shirt could possibly feel that good. Well, it's funny how exactly. Well, it's funny how the mind works. Like when you're putting on a dress shirt, you're expecting it to kind of not feel very comfortable. So when you mm. put on a mezzan main dress shirt, your mind's absolutely fucking blown. Um you're they're shocked. Hot, yeah, you're shocked. Their high performance dress shirts are warm in winter and cool in summer. Uh, think of their clothing as your secret weapon for any occasion. I'm confident. I'm I'm certain if you give Miz and Amin a try, you'll never go back to conventional men's clothing again. Because mm. you know what else you can do is skip the dry cleaners forever because they're machine washable, um, mm. which is awesome. And they're just the they're the best dress shirts out there, bar none, without a doubt. Hard factor, stamp of approval. Um, don't you want to wear the same material you wear to the gym when you go uh, to work or watching football with friends, right? You go golfing, whatever, like the whole nine. Uh, if you wear dress shirts and don't wear Miz and Amin, you're making a huge mistake. It's it's just mm. ridiculous. You know what uh, happens so, when you wear Miz and Amin? Like, you know how people want to like women will want to come up and touch your shirt for therefore, sure, and therefore touch you, and yes. then you've got them. You know, and you yeah. will want them to touch because even if you're like uh oh, like body material. conscious or like a little yeah. bit introverted when when someone touches like your stiff dress shirt you, yeah. you might be like ew when someone right. touches your mizzen dr main dress shirt you're like yes please yeah. continue to oh touch yeah your and you know it's please dry wicked you're not even going to have any pit stains on no. there there's no sweat it's dry wicked it's 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 stretchable it's breathable you're good to go it's yeah. good, you're good for the soft let yeah. the touching continue so if you want the best damn the touching's going to lead to some more touching you know that's right it is Make sure that, I mean, it doesn't matter. You can throw the Miz and Main off and let it land on the ground because, again, machine washable. Uh, so mm. if you want the best damn dress shirts uh, money can buy, check out Mizzen and Main right now. If you go to MizzenandMain.com and use promo code HARDFACTOR, you'll receive $25 off any regular price order of $130 or more. Plus, it's going to be free shipping on any order over $100 uh, and free returns. That's $25 off when you go to M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D-M-A-I-N.com. Use our promo code HARDFACTOR. Um, so that they uh, keep using us and give us more shirts because That's right. because we want those. very important to use our codes. Yes. Um, all right. Ask any lawyer or any prospective lawyer and they'll tell you law school is a pretty big deal. They're like, yeah, law school is pretty important. Uh, some would say it's vital in the path toward becoming a lawyer. Uh, mm -hmm. Right. It's also expensive. Yeah, I mean, you have to. Can you Pretty pass much. the bar without law school, Mark? Do you know? I, I don't know, but I don't. I wouldn't recommend trying. I don't think. Right. It uh, seems like it would be crazy to try that. Fool's errand. Catch me if you can. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you'd that's have to be true. literally a genius, like the guy in Catch yeah. Me If You Can. You'd have mm -hmm. to be an absolute genius so if you're uh, in the top one percent of one percent of geniuses you can skip law school yeah. but i'm pretty sure they teach you and prepare you for the bar that's the mm -hmm. whole point of going to law school uh, it's also very expensive hard to get into and and a decision you are making after already going to college my point is if you get into like law school it's because you really really wanted to you made that decision and you're pumped you're like an adult you've gone through all this trouble this is the career you want to do it's hard to get into it. it's expensive you've gotten in you get in you're pumped especially yeah. if you get into your top choice of law school and that's why Th those types of careers mark are like that's one of the reasons why people don't go into them like yeah. if you wanted to be say like an astronaut or a doctor or a lawyer like you have to like commit to it so early yes and like and like stick to it like it, it, it's it is, unlikely it's, you get yourself into hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt and you've decided at the age of 25 you don't want to be a lawyer also. right like you just got to stick it through like it, like even rare. if you don't want to you got to still yeah. do it because you're just so you fucking decided at one point that you were going to and you're so into this career path that getting into law school huge fucking day maybe the best day of your young life oh right? yeah it's life changing life and that changing. and that's why nearly four thousand people that applied to northeastern law school this year were ex in the past year two years were ecstatic to receive acceptance letters in the mail yeah. um it's probably literally like i just said like maybe the best day one of the best days of their young lives for sure hard work all, finally paid off yes but it's also why they were so enraged when the school contacted them and said, oh, sorry, we made a mistake and you're too dumb to be eligible for our law school. You're not accepted. <laughs> you're rejected big time. Maybe try Western Michigan. Oh, try that other Ohio University. Yeah, maybe try the other Ohio school. <laughs> um, go to Athens. Yeah, it's in Athens. <laughs> the Bobcats. So, ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, like, how about Lakeisha Papu? Some, some uh, sort of... Uh, what is this like 
Greek name, Paputakas Sakis. Uh, oh, yeah, she's that's like, Greek. The, yeah. <laughs> she, she was, uh, she was pretty pumped when she got an email recently that said, Hey, congratulations. You're accepted into our law school and here's your Northeastern ID number. She got the ID number. And what you need to do now is Whoa. pay a $500 deposit for your first year of law school and please rescind all your other law school applications cancel all your other law school applications oh. immediately because you're definitely in to Northeastern law school. Uh, oh. Was this a scam? Uh, no, it was no, definitely it was just university. Horrible Damn. error. So the Northeastern is supposed to be very smart, right? But uh, smart. this, this is, this seems like one of the stupidest fucking things that you could possibly do. Some would say they're no Northwestern, but uh, (laughs) (laughs) so many people fired off because, you know, how lawyers and that like every wedding I go, they announce if if, if there's a lawyer or a doctor in the building, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, So many tweets went out and then they look like idiots. They also probably as hard work did pay off in case you were wondering. Yes, exactly. They also probably as requested. canceled their other applications to other schools probably as well <laughs> yeah which is yeah, a bigger yeah, that, issue that's here. fucked up that's, that's fucked a bigger up. issue uh that's bigger that's a way bigger. Said, but the funnier issue yeah. is the is the is the accidental having post. to explain to people yeah, how you're not that happened a lot issue. for sure yes. yeah. Yeah. Uh, immediately i was over the moon said lakeisha who was a single mother of four that had applied to northeastern law twice before unsuccessfully uh she was quickly mm. under the moon when she was emailed back by the university saying hey remember that other email delete it it was a mistake you're still way too dumb to come here so don't oh, bother no. it's 0 for 3 for you lakeisha we had a technology issue and sent some dummies acceptance letters it's kind of funny <laughs> when you think about it you being enrolled here that is uh yeah. maybe try the university of arkansas <laughs> wouldn't that have been something you hear <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> you lakeisha who we've rejected <laughs> twice before come like, on. lol how did you think <laughs> yeah. it was real yeah. how many days when 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 uh went on be- between the their mistake and then their second mistake in her case been. it was six or seven hours it was a day oh so okay hopefully so she didn't hopefully she didn't tweets. cancel her other applications so many pictures of the acceptance letter being posted sent around the family oh yeah oh, this is yeah. terrible but well it's a good question because in in the email they did say we had a horrible technology issue we're so sorry and this also happened to about 200 other people but upon further investigation it was 3900 people not 200 so they lied to their teeth in the apology email which they just sent to 3900 people that they had just sent an acceptance letter oh, to man. before in the past you know what year. this is is this probably is just an office this is like an office full of old people and then they trusted like the one young guy that knows how to do emails to like yeah. manage to to manage like the 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 list and then it turns out he's just yeah. like a stoner who doesn't he sent know the acceptance doing. letter to reply all <laughs> yeah, yeah to every applicant to every applicant yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah that's not, something all, like yeah. that's going on here <laughs> yeah. yeah there's like a bunch of 95 year old professors that have no yes. idea how email works and then there's like one stoner who they're trusting with all of this like millions of dollars of funding to make sure that control the a is still right control right, yeah. a command a and then right. all the all the emails are in right. there um whoops or yeah wrong wrong key word there uh it's almost like they sounds like a playing. pretty stupid setup for a smart university like northeastern well, yeah they're 73rd rank law school will so they're not uh, <laughs> northwestern's up there around 50 and you know yeah uh but yeah i mean they're gonna continue to drop in the rankings with with moves like this uh oh, yeah. they do accept about 30 percent of their applicants uh and it's ironic that the law school that is uh now uh telling people they're too dumb to go to it is going to get their pants suit off by the people that they don't think are smart enough to be lawyers yep yeah. that's well, that's lose. that's ironic what is that emotion, lose some emotional of stress or yeah. something yeah they're gonna yeah. get absolutely destroyed in court the for, the, the, yeah. the woman with the greek uh name that mark mentioned is yeah. is gonna win a lawsuit yeah oikos uh, yeah. is gonna be rich yeah single mother yeah. of four yeah she's she doesn't yeah. have to be a lawyer anymore um because she's gonna make hundreds of thousands of dollars uh for sure off of uh off of northeastern idiot well because that's emotional damage right because yeah. she's right. applied four times yep third time but yeah yep okay. she's yeah. um i mean that's yeah that's that's fucked up that's fine. If anybody in her boat deserves a payday. I, I believe that now it, you probably might have had to do it. I don't know the legality behind it, but if you canceled a single law school application because they told you to in the acceptance letter, then you're winning the lawsuit. 
Yes. Done. That's Case true. Closed. Case closed. If you have, which I mean, to... you think you would like, if yeah. I got that, I would do it right away. Right. It just, like, you would do it, yeah. Yeah, it just depends yeah. on if you do it right away or not. You definitely w- would get to it pretty quickly because they're telling you to, they're saying, Hey, you don't want to get another acceptance letter. This is, these are like early acceptance applicants. They want yeah. the deposit. They want you to log into your ID be number. So excited so, about getting into law school. You'd yes. be like, yeah, I'll do it right, right now. Exactly. So there's probably some people that, uh, is that a stipulation uh, they usually do? I don't think, I don't feel like I'd cancel any of my other applications. So like in, in early enrollments, mm. uh, some early enrollments only allow you to enroll to them. Um, uh, in this case, it's like a, this is an early enrollment for Lakeisha as well. Some, mm. I guess, let you do early enrollment, but if you get into early enrollment, you absolutely have to commit a hundred thousand percent. Cause if you don't do early enrollment, you could get accepted to like 10 schools. You get to pick which one in mm. early enrollment. They want you to, they, they, they require you to choose them. If it's like when them. Mark yeah. Cuban offers you a deal on, um, Shark, yeah, Tank. Shark Tank, you have take to it take, now. It. Take, now. take it now, take it now. Yeah. now. That's, that's, that's what's going on here. Okay. I love uh, it when somebody yeah. doesn't take it and then they lose it and yeah. then they don't get offer in the end that's yeah. the best that's that the is best. the best they're like sorry i told you take it now and now you can told back. me no yeah right that is the best so funny so northeastern's stupid damn well i never even i honestly had never heard of northeastern <laughs> oh it's been boston it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a big, big university school. it's yeah. a, it's like it's like heard it's pretty school. 73rd 73rd best <laughs> <laughs> northwestern's in uh illinois right northwestern's uh chicago yeah i yeah, think or illinois somewhere yeah, yeah. Chicago, yeah um, all right, guys, uh, it is time. It's time for the high five. <laughs> Forgot Damn. about that, didn't you? Yeah. I did. I've been staring Damn. at your, your background's badass, too, with the triangle. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's a moving triangle. Yeah, that's right. cool. Like it, I feel like it's distracting, but it, um, yeah. it's like you're inside so cool. of Tron. Yeah, it's right. like it's like you're you're like the, you're the you're a news anchor from the Tron world. Major right. Tron vibes. Yeah. yeah. Um, it is time for the high five. Got uh, I think like seven voicemails. No new um reviews. So you know we'll work on that next week. If you want to leave us a review on Apple, we're getting you know we'd like to get to five thousand. We're at like forty two hundred now, forty three hundred something like that. Be nice. Yeah, that'd 5, be good. Be get cool. us five k. Also. Uh, if you want it, if mm-hmm. you've done a, an Apple review and you just want to hear something funny on the podcast, yeah, do a Spotify, send us a screenshot of the Spotify five star to send us. We'll just read what you say on the DM. So yeah, we want you can't submit them on there even more than Apple Apple new Apple five star reviews are great. And thank you. But even probably better Spotify five stars. That's right. Yeah. Send them in. Send them to the hard factor voicemail Gmail hard factor voicemail at Gmail dot com. So they don't get lost in the uh, in the in the shuffle of Instagram messages because it, that's a, it's a fuck fest in there. Yeah, um, Instagram messages. We always try to hit everybody, but sometimes yeah. somebody will like check it and then not right. send it in. And so like yeah. if you send some to the IG DMs, we do try to make sure that they all get hit. But sometimes it could get skipped just because yeah. there's a lot of people in the account. If I'm on the high five. Chances are it might get skipped. So um, send, it to, <laughs> send it to the hard factor voicemail at gmail.com. All right. Uh, first up, just going to get this out of the way. Um, uh, many people sent it to me. Terrible news. Uh, I am wearing my anti pit bull shirt for a reason. Oh, no, and yeah. that is because we have another tragic pit bull mauling this time in Tennessee where pit bulls mauled uh, to death uh, a uh, brother and sister. Um, I believe they were one and two years old. No, oh, it's horrible. Um, yeah, Whoa. two pit bulls. Uh, so I missed there they this are. one. Yeah. Wasn't there also, there was also an American bulldog attack that was similar, right? There was in, in London, I believe, or something like that. Wes skips oh. that because it's not a pit bull. Yeah, well, you know, those those are big the big dogs, but they're nowhere near as dangerous as pit bulls, and I love them. Clearly. Like the Wes sweeps those under the rug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so. R.I.P. That's horrible. That's to disgusting. The, to the, yeah. How many fucking kids. kids are going to get killed in this episode? Five months, five month old baby <laughs> yeah, and, a two, right. and a and two year old. Uh, the family's pit bulls, great family pets, you know, just fantastic family dogs that will kill your kids. Um, so not suggesting we euthanize all the pit bulls, but maybe let's stop breeding them. And if you have a problem with that, but maybe cut their you're, teeth out. Maybe. You're the fucking problem. You're the fucking problem. You should, you should. <laughs> Wes, what? Yeah, you're the fucking problem. <laughs> Somebody's you, like literally petting their pit bull right now. Oh, <laughs> several <laughs> listeners. Listen. Listen, that's fine. Keep your keep your current pit bull, but let's stop breeding these fucking things. Okay, they're dangerous. The buck they stops kill. here. Yeah, no more breeding them. Yeah. Tired of it. 
tired of reading these t- terrible headlines about these little babies. You have a lot of genocides eaten. that you want to commit, like pit bulls. No, orcas. I don't want to commit. I don't want to kill. The How many other ones. genocides you got? What other genocides you want? To I don't want to kill the current pit bulls. <laughs> I understand people love their pets. I love mine, too. But I think we should stop breeding these fucking dogs. I think that 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 that, that if you're alive now, stop the breeding. When don't does it care. start right now? What Today. about what about, what if a pit bull's pregnant right now? Then they can be then that's a grandfather. They're they're grandfather. They're grandfathered in. In. Yeah. Pregnant pit bulls and they're pregnant and their pit litters bulls are okay. That's fine. But after yeah. that, no more. But Stop pregnant the, tomorrow. Pregnant abort, tomorrow. Abort. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Um, <laughs> let's let's move on. What are you um, looking at? Oh, it looks like uh Biden is pardoning all federal offenses of marijuana possession which nice. is like none none really but it's like that's cool smuggling uh, yeah i guess yeah. it's smuggling across state line across state lines mm. Mm. muling because that's a federal crime when you do it across state lines right yeah, yeah. Interesting. There you go. Mm. ban it all um, baby make it that's step one of 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 uh needs to continue more more of that sponge ban yeah that's right Step one of the uh, OPEC plus Bukaki is doing stuff you don't want to do. <laughs> yeah. uh, guys, uh, Will, you just watched Hocus Pocus 2 mm-hmm. with your daughter. Is that correct? Uh, no, uh, we did not watch Hocus Pocus 2. I saw it. Yeah. Oh, you saw it, Mark. Okay. Did, do you feel like that there may have been um, some spells cast on your house? Maybe the devil is now living in your home? I certainly hope, I certainly hope not. Well, I certainly hope not. That's what um, Alex Jansen sent me this. Uh, there's a mom The here she is. She's crazy. Here's her fam. Here's her crazy family and her, and her husband. She and thinks she that like um, you should avoid Hocus Pocus, too, because uh, especially your kids, because it will um, unleash hell on your kids uh, and your mm. home. So just it looked like PSA. a shitty movie. That's why we didn't watch it. But Hocus Mark, Pocus was one was amazing. Um, OK, so I fell asleep. Uh, but my wife really liked it, and I heard it it's looked good. like you'd fall asleep. And my sister really liked it. My parents liked it. People say it's good. I it I, when I woke up, I enjoy. I was entertained. Um, okay. I heard it. it's not as good as the first one, but it's not bad. It's not. I watched the trailer last night, and yeah. I almost fell asleep during the trailer. So I, I so well, it's look potential full, that full my wife and daughter will watch it. I wasn't a huge Hocus Pocus one fan. What do you want from me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, why does this lady think it'll unleash hell, regardless of our opinions of the movie? <laughs> I don't know, because she's a religious uh, freak. Uh, it's wow. witches and warlocks, satanic church, I mean, that kind of I, thing. How many? They, they, they abuse and sacrifice children because they're witches. So it's very, uh, yeah. you know, satanic. Yeah. Apparently, she, also, she wants you to avoid a lot of things, not just to avoid focus fun. Too. Yeah. Yeah. She wants all you to fun. avoid fun at all, all costs. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Her last name is Gooch, by the way. That's, um, oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Moving on. Uh, let's check in with some polls, guys. Uh, the Cooey poll that I posted. Should Americans start eating guinea pigs? Um, and 48% of you said yes, but only at Peruvian restaurants. Uh, 28% said no, way too cute. And 25% just all for it say yes, they look delicious. So, so there's two ways to look at this poll. Mm-hmm. Because of the way you, you worded it. Yeah. You could look at it as uh, about 80% of people say, you know, certainly not like in, a, in just like a casual scenario. Or you could look at it as about 75 people say yes. <laughs> right. Like, the way that poll works is. Well, could, yeah. Yeah. Only in Peruvian restaurants is is was but it the still majority. says yes. So right. that, that's why you, you can you can interpret the only in Peruvian restaurant. Well, all I care about is it's, it's an overwhelming yes. That we that, should start. I mean, they you're look, taking it as overwhelming. Yes, they look delicious in the video. They did. Yeah, yeah. They, they do. They did. Um, they did. So the so the I just read the Biden tweet thread on this. So he on, on the on the legalizing or not legalizing, uh, <clears throat> decriminalizing. He, no, pardoning federal marijuana possession charges is is the first part. Second is that he's asking for the process to start of reclassifying it as a schedule one drug but we'll see um i mean it is all under the executive so hopefully that gets done that'd be that would be the biggest change there. having it not be a schedule one drug right you're saying right that'd be yeah. the biggest change that more yeah. so than the federal possession because right. it's just probably not a huge volume of charges mm. let's okay. get state possession is much more common let's get this shit done people it's 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 2022 yeah. weed is harmless treat it like alcohol not when the presidency you legalize yeah. weed. 
That is that. I mean, I said it last time. Trump should have done it. Yep. Biden is is being smarter about Trump's it. Trump's a square as well. He doesn't he doesn't like wheat. Neither does Biden. They don't like they're 100 years. No one that's 100 years old likes wheat. Right. Still that reefer madness mentality. Right. Um, he, he wants this, votes now. <laughs> this uh, this next video is uh, disturbing sent in by I think Cassandra sent it in. Um, it's uh, of a high school football team that was react re reenacting a slave trade and got their season canceled. Uh, wow. Here it is. California high school football team canceled after recreating slave action. Yeah. As you can hear, they're waiting on their fellow teammates that are standing. Why did up. they think that was a good idea? Sketch. That was a. It was, it was like a sketch. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a, a it sketch. Was, yeah. 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 Oh, that was a stupid sketch. Why? <laughs> yeah, so why they did they, they do they that? They got their season canceled. Wait, why? Why did they? Why can't they? Why did they get their season canceled? They just tell those kids that that's stupid. <laughs> that's that, that a sketch. Yeah, Obviously, I mean, we've done some questionable sketches back in the day. That we have. Uh, they just took it way too far. Yeah. Okay, they thought well, they it was also, okay. They also, they also didn't do a good job. It wasn't no. like a, right. They also that wasn't it like was a highly produced funny sketch. They just they yeah. got a, a shitty idea in their head and then they just immediately filmed it on a, a fucking iPhone. Yeah, they put for the people black, that didn't they put the black see kids it. up front. Exactly. Yeah. But for, for people that didn't see it, I think one element of that is that none of the kids were white. So none of them were thinking probably about right. like the racial implications of it. So mm. it and, was and, like, and, and I'm assuming uh, this is a big assumption, but I'm assuming that the the black high school athletes volunteered to do it. Right. No, it looked like Absolutely. everybody's in on it. That so, none of them were white at all. It was all. So like, yeah, yeah. So, yes. I mean, it, it sounds worse than than it probably was in their in all of their minds but right they thought it was funny the they thought it was funny. And, the, and the headline is bad like we right. when you film a comedy sketch you could absolutely we did an awesome one with thomas jefferson laying in bed with sally hemmings i like the like, hitler one where he's selling all white selling cars, cars only white cars like, all yeah, white the, cars yeah that's but you had like that was, that was a specifically like satirical sketch comedy was labeled yeah. as this. You can't have a high school football team that aren't just in a locker comics room. just randomly Shirtless. do this in the locker room and put it out for the world to see. Yeah, but those kids got great senses of humor. Let's be honest. I mean, and that 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 that, that locker room to, is probably yeah, hilarious yeah. with judging yeah. oh. by, by the fact they're willing to go there. I bet it's right. Like yeah, they, they, they're they very comfortable. Room. Maybe with instead jokes. of playing football, yeah, they I should do with. sketch comedy. Yeah, they yeah. should just. No, that's what I'm saying. Just have they need to just have like somebody like maybe a comedian come yeah. in and talk to these kids and be like, explain to them like, Hey, this is why that joke didn't play. But had yes. you done it this way, maybe, yes. you know, yes. like, <laughs> you could, like yeah. exactly. That's right. That's right. Um, Cause they didn't really do. I mean, the kids, like they weren't trying to be racist. It was a bunch of, it was a bunch of Hispanic and black kids. They weren't like, trying to be racist against themselves they were they're like mocking they're mocking yeah. slave auctions is what i'm assuming right yeah, exactly yeah. so and yeah. when you mock like horrible things in the past and do it in a comedic way it's often uh, it's often a good thing to mock uh but they just executed that horribly yeah um, they did yeah. they thought Bad the little execution. write over they thought the the tiktok uh or the instagram like uh text description like slave auction back in the day they thought that was enough to like clarify no yeah, someone had a someone had a pretty funny idea and they executed it horribly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, real quick, uh, many people sent this to me and I'm aware of it. Just want to let you know, I will be looking into it that um, Hans Neiman, after the investigation was done, has been found to have cheated in more than 100 games of chess. He is chess's biggest cheater. Um, All I'm by not, anal beads. Apparently. Whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. No, 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 no. I looked into it. Uh, oh, yeah. It's there's all no proof. It's all yeah. online stuff. It's only it's all 100 of online games from the yeah. place he already said he cheated on online when he was younger. Here's the only bad thing for him. Is, so mm. chess.com, the place that he said he cheated on, says they think he cheated on over 100 games. They can't right. prove any of it. They just right. think he did. Right. They also said they absolutely we cannot got hands on the anal beads yet. Yeah, well, that's what they said. They can't because he, they, he they think he probably used the thing, the machine, the chess machine. But they said they absolutely can't even comment on in-person games. So, like, they're only right. speaking about online games, yes. which he's already said he cheated on. So, Mag, he admitted to, like, two or three well. cheating. Yeah. And chess.com is literally buying Magnus's chess app for millions and millions of dollars. Right. So they're best so, friends with Magnus. And Magnus is like, I'm not, he could have pulled to Elon Musk and been like, I'm not doing the deal unless you sow, unless you sully Hans's name. It's a name. smear job. Yeah, it's right? a, it's a smear, smear campaign. Job. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I agree. I, don't, I, don't, I think I don't, it's a smear it's campaign a smear for campaign. sure. Well, no one's, it, neither of them have, have agreed to come on the show. So until that happens, we really don't know the truth. It's anyone's ball game, but I think, I think for sure Magnus said, 
put out a scathing article or I'm not selling you my chest. I think the one thing I've learned about the chess community in this whole saga, fiasco. Magnus's dick too much? No, they're all cowards. Yeah. They're just all of them are cowards. They're just all cowardly men. They, they, They literally are obsessed with a game where the pieces are inanimate pieces that don't fight each other. And that's how they do. That, that's how they settle things. Other than that, they're cowards. In real life, they're cowards. They can't handle like real confrontation. Like this kid, they're just screaming. He uses anal beads, but they won't ever like let him play in person. Do you guys it's ever play ridiculous. battle chess on the PC? Chess World is a bunch of dramatic prima no. donna cowards. A good. bunch of losers. Get out of here, Chess World. You're losers. If you don't let this fucking Hans <laughs> Neiman kid play the the fucking uh, other guy, Magnus, your little god that all you suck off and he just buys articles to say the other guy's a cheater. You're a bunch of loser cowards. You're all virgins. Magnus Nobody gives king. a fuck about this. Magnus is king of the chess world. He's the king. <laughs> oh, yeah, Look, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, he is the king of the chess world because you're a bunch of losers. You you guys take that as your king. That's your king. He's then he's the king. your king. He, we, You are who we thought you were. Yeah. Crown him then. You know? Yeah. I mean, shit. Like, like, what a bu- like what? It's the most pathetic group of people I've ever seen. What teenager wouldn't like uh, cheat in an online chess game that didn't matter? You know, like of yeah. course, for money, that's like, especially. That's, that's like someone that cheated in like a, a Scrabble game once or twice. Like the it, chess world, you got uh, a lot of redeeming of yourselves to do after. Less that there is there is a claim in the article. The only the only bad thing I had I, tr- I forgot I lost my train of thought is they did claim that um, a few of the matches they think he cheated on think were for money. That's what I said. Yeah, for yeah. money. Yeah. So that's, that's the problem. That's, that's the bad. problem. That's bad. Well, if 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 chess.com and Magnus are really, you know, in cahoots, then that's fucked up. And Hans should yeah, they sue didn't everyone that. for millions of dollars. They didn't mention in their article that they were buying Hans's app for millions of dollars. Yeah. I mean, sure Magnus's app for millions of dollars. Yeah. Well, sure they, they left that part out. It stinks to high heaven. And I'm embarrassed for anybody who considers themselves a chess person because this is embarrassing. Yeah. Well, you don't have to kick the chess people while they're down. They already have. No, I do. I do. You need to know chess people. (laughs) You're bullying chess kids. Well, they deserve (laughs) anyone in anyone in anyone in Magnus's corner. You fucking dweebs. (laughs) (laughs) Anyone who who worships Magnus is exactly as we'll describe them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. These people need to know they need. You need to understand what you look like to the outside world. You look like a loser if you're one of these Magnus chumps. They're yeah. like the that just won't even entain oh, I, the idea of a I real am game. Far from Team Magnus, I'll tell you that right. much. Yeah. Well, I don't know look, if I'm if Team Hans yet, but I'm not guy, Team Magnus. But if they're even open minded to it, I, I I'll I'll give that that chess person a break. If they're close minded and following yeah. all these smear job articles that are obviously just like bot articles oh, that Magnus is planning. Magnus like, is the Elon Musk of the chess world. That people just like blindly do whatever he says. Follow yeah, him. it's he obvious. Can, Magnus can do no wrong. It's obvious. Sure. And from the outside looking in, it's obvious. You just look like a bunch of chumps. Yeah, that's right. I agree. Um, OK, let's see. I'm going to do. So we posted the Antonio Brown video about, mm. um, you know, him stealing our tweet on. Uh, and it got a lot of love on Facebook, uh, over three million views um, and some of the comments on anger, there, too. Yeah, a lot of anger, a lot of every emotion on there um, and racism and and, yeah. and 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 insults on us. So I went through uh, quickly, pick some of the best ones. Um, I didn't have time to label them, but there's a few. I'm just going to start off with the main tweet that got this all started or the main comment from the video, which says comment section is a cesspool of race baiters on multiple sides. Chill out, everyone, and laugh at the funny video and maybe watch it. Nice. Um, that was what Mark put to like try to calm mm-hmm. it down because it was already like thousands of angry comments. Let me right. be clear. So my point on the multiple sides is there was um, a ton of like you know uh, what seemed to me to be aggressively racist people towards Antonio right, Brown, like N word using adjectives. And, yes, exactly right, in right, slang yeah. terms. And then there was also a ton of people being like, "What? Where is Brett Favre? You you calling us racist? Right, right. Where, where's the and Brett Favre coverage? Racist for, well, you're right, racist right. because you're going after a black guy. So it was it was it was." all around it wasn't like that and then it, but it was also the majority of comments were one way or the other racist but what like on either side so i was just like can we just like not not comment about the race shit? So that's that's what i did there but right, right. yeah it's out didn't go over well did it no so let's know so, the sp- who let's knew look sports at some comments or so um, obsessed with race sheila burns says it seems to me that you guys enjoyed the show continuously <laughs> commenting on the size of his member hmm seems suspect to me what's suspect about that why can't 
Oh, some guy is jacking his dick off in front of your face. What are you going to think about? Sheila? We got to talk about the size of it, Sheila. Right, exactly. What are right. you? What, what is it like? A, like we're we're literally an entertainment show. You're, yeah. you're watching the fucking video for your entertainment right now, Sheila. So what do you want us to say when a guy's jacking his dick off in front of our faces? Oh, you want Sheila's, us to say, not oh. watch, Sheila's not watching this. Right, but like, like, what the fuck is is her point? The the dude is jacking his penis in your face. Gay. You have to say something. She about thinks it. we commented she on the size of gay. his dick a little too yeah. much. That's what she's saying. Yeah. It looked um, skinny. It looked skinny. It looked a little skinny, but also long. Yeah. Um, Dan Hodgman says, what's so funny about a mentally unstable person exposing himself at a public pool? And then I believe was this Mark. Mark, yeah. are these all your responses? Yeah. yeah. You go around like uh, uh, Dan Hodgman. You go around like making strong assumptions with less than half of the information. Wild way to live. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> then Dan Hodgman writes, 73 retreats. Get over yourselves. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he thinks he thinks Antonio Brown came up with the word for word tweet. Yeah. Because, yeah. 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 Um, and then uh, we re responded, you're either an excellent troll or the dumbest person alive. There's no in between. Yeah. And then he says, I did. You think he stole your tweets? So you can post about it for likes like he watches or listens to you or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he think yeah, that guy's nuts. He thinks that Antonio he thinks, Brown didn't yeah. steal he, he, the tweet. He thinks that Antonio Brown came up with the exact same right. joke. And again, someone coming up with a similar joke, one hundred percent possible. In fact, it, I don't think RG three stole a tweet, even though uh, Megan from Barstool had her back on that. That was funny. A lot of people made a dick joke and right. defense joke, but they didn't do it word for word word that would for be word one yeah. in, that would be one in 50 trillion you can't right. possibly put all of those words that's exactly that's in the same order see, yeah. right. this is this is these antonio brown fans okay so so this okay shannon sharp i i saw a clip like during this week i had no idea what he was talking about in the clip and then i realized after i saw some of these comments about us he was being called a racist shannon sharp was being called a racist against black men because he was criticizing Antonio Brown pulling his dick out at the, the pool. The Antonio and, Brown thing was a racial lightning rod. Right. And Shannon Sharp is but like, also, you know, obviously very black. And he was like, how am I? Can I be? How am I being racist against black men? If I'm just saying he shouldn't have pulled his dick out at a pool. It's because true racists cannot stand to see a black man touch a white woman. That's what it but like. Right. That drives them absolutely right, bonkers. I think you're right, Wes. There was a lot of comments like, what like, no but like but what, like, what about the white? other way around right like, 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 we, we do life. the exact same commentary yeah. of some guy yeah. who was jerking off it has nothing to do yeah. that he's black and then a lot of people are like what if he did it to your daughter and yeah stuff. It's oh like, it's, it's, be it's it's because, because they picture him doing yeah. it to their daughter exactly my yeah. white daughter <laughs> yeah <laughs> antonio no, brown <laughs> no this is the other way around no this is the other way around this is the it's guys all, that are like all sides this is the guys that are like you're a racist if you don't want to let a and well, it's all sides. Public. It was all but, sides. Yeah. It's, yeah. It was all sides. Uh, Matt Smith says hard fact. I'm saying the ones that Shannon Sharp was talking about. No. Yeah, we're just talking about different ones. I know. Yeah. They're both. There's a yeah. huge amount of both groups of those people, though. Right. Saying. Massive amount. It's crazy. Massive amount, it turns out. And they and they, yeah. uh, they all came out of the woodworks over this Antonio Brown thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they're, 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 they're threatened by his big black penis. Yeah. Um, yeah, or 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 weirdly empowered by it. There, there's yeah. there, there's no in between. Like you, you either or, or they're proud of him for, right, for or right. weirdly yeah. into it, or like yeah. like like oddly yeah. a fan of him jacking off in public. Like it's right. like there's no there's no in between. Both equally weird. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Matt Smith says hard factor says the racist. You're almost as trash as AB. Hopefully oh. they ban this race baiting page. What a cesspool of idiocy. What is he talking about? Okay, I thanks, a lo dude. A lot of thanks, Matt. Stupid. Yeah, I'm a just lot of stupid people. <laughs> uh, Tom Cheney says, hard fact. What the fuck is funny about this? Because of his race, it's OK. Shut the fuck up, you stupid, ignorant, uneducated fuck. And then we responded, Tom Cheney, what in the world are you talking about, you moron? And he <laughs> says, uh, William Day's hard factor. You're a racist. It's obvious by your comments. Your words show just how useless of a person you are in real life. OK, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got more. some death threats in there. Mm -hmm. Y'all are just a but this is my favorite one. Y'all are a bunch of just an overweight. Uh, overweight white men with tiny penises, jealous of a black man with a big dick. Y'all should oh. be worried about y'all women going going cr cran about the D. <laughs> it's not the black man's fault. <laughs> there was one. How video. did she get that from that? From there's, that, there was video. one comment that was like, uh, "So you can't can't get your wives away from the video, can you?" Or something like that. Yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
uh, assault, sexual assault, laughing at this when this happens to your family. It's not funny. Your right, morals right. aren't worth dirt. Uh, wait, if he did that to you, a niece, if you have one that is in the pool, do you have kids? So if you have a daughter, someone dude just walked by and pulled out his dick and flashed your daughter's face, would you just walk away and say maybe I mean this is just it just gets out of hand. I Why mean, just, how fucking dumb is that guy? Bring him back, bring that comment back up. How fucking stupid, stupid are you, Brad Long? They're all stupid. You're such an idiot. Yeah. You think if some fucking guy was jacking his dick off in front of my daughter, I wouldn't fucking punch him in the face. If it was you, Brad Long, and you don't have your fucking picture on on the internet because you're scared of people finding out who you are because you're a pussy. But if I did know what you look like and you were jacking your dick in front of my daughter's face, I'd fucking punch you in the face. Well, these people, are all, these people are also <laughs> stupid. There was one guy who yeah. could stop for a second. Wes. There was one guy who even said like, oh, you guys are real tough guys. You don't even put your picture up. Oh, yeah. And it's like we have a public podcast, you dipshit. We have our names first. <laughs> like, all of these people, I, we we have the statistics out of like the 3.2 million views, about 85% of people drop off before we get to the coverage of tweets and tweet stealing. Right. So already off the bat, 85% of people don't know what the video is about. They think we're only talking about Antonio Brown jerking off. Which is and hilarious. then out of those 85% of people, <laughs> out of those 85% of people that don't get what the entire point of the video was about, him stealing our tweet and us laughing about it, yeah. uh, they think that we're, a lot of them think that we're condoning Antonio Brown, you know, like jerking off or whatever, like, and then other people are making assumptions that it's the other way. Like, everyone just went on to this page and left comments without even like looking at the video. It's such a lightning rod. It's right. insane. It's hilarious. It's absolutely nuts. It's hilarious. Uh, oh, this is one of my favorite ones too. Y'all out here eating booty, but want to judge this man on this. Social media got y'all doing anything and using anyone for a platform. This is so gay. And then the response from Divine says, Cedric Parks, you do realize that flashing your junk in public is an actual crime and eating ass in private isn't, right? That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. Great point. Uh, she got his D hard and took his shorts. He's a victim. Long live. Oh, uh, who cares? He's having fun. Big deal. That's yeah. right. Yeah, I mean, That's like, right, look, I don't I don't yeah. care. Look, I, <laughs> Neither I, do I. <laughs> nobody cares. We don't care. We didn't condone cares. it in the video and we didn't say like he should go get the death penalty. Like, neither, right. neither of those things happened. We wanted to post the video because he stole our tweet, but right. people don't care. It's all good. Right. Absolutely. Anyways, all the people who are like who are like claiming what I'm saying, what I was trying to get to the point with like Shannon Sharp is like I it was in it was seeing the people's reactions was just like so fucking like I don't understand how Antonio Brown can do that to everybody. Listen, like how gets it was I up like how a black stupid dick. Let me people tell you. are how many stupid yeah, people a BBC are there? Wes, a BBC, BBC will just rile, rile, people, rile people up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. For, for good reasons, for bad reasons, it just riles people up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sure does. Yeah, yeah. So just you know, there are a lot he's of got that, that. He's got power with that. A lot thing. of stupid people out there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, all right, let's get to some. Uh, oh, there's voice no way we're playing all seven voicemails. And Brad point, right? Long, that wasn't really a threat, but you saying that we wouldn't defend our kids or our nieces. Give me a break, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? Go get a different hobby than making assumptions about we performers were getting, like, death on the threats internet. That too. The people are well, the people on the Facebook are insane. Yeah. Uh, Mark, you tell me if you got to go, just let me know. We can save them. There's for no way I time. can stick around for seven voicemails. OK, well, then you want to just save them? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, we're already an hour and 15 in. I'm not doing 45 minutes of voicemails. I it's not go. 45 minutes. As long as we don't ads. comment on them and, and, and if and you want riff. to play them straight through, we'll play them fine. straight through and then we'll, yeah. we'll address okay. them all at the end. Okay. okay. First of all, I want to say to Jeff from Chicago called and left what might be the most unprofessional and horribly recorded voicemail <laughs> I've ever heard. Many seconds of his presumably iPhone five cutting out <laughs> noise in the background. Just awful. He left two voicemails. So after painstakingly deciphering what the fuck he was talking about in his first voicemail, I figured out he was talking about this tweet, which was from a newswoman, Sarah Walsh, whose husband caught uh, Aaron Judge's 61st home run. And oh. she tweeted bad news um, down here in Florida battling a hurricane. But the good news is I can announce my retirement because her husband caught the 61st home run. Then she tweeted out again. Um, Oh, cool. He just handed that back without checking to see if our house is still here. Um, I'd like to announce our divorce. <laughs> and then the, the final tweet, uh, just a reporter doing work here. Per my sources, Matt Bushman, who is her um, husband, wasn't forced to give the ball back, but he handed it over to Zach Britton. <laughs> 
the judge and Maris family <laughs> quote uh, have been flying all over the country. They deserve to have that ball. So she oh was my very god, upset. what a wild yeah, series of tweets from her. Yeah, That's and awesome. coincidentally, Jeff called back to criticize an aspect of our show having to do with sound. And I'm going to play that for you. And that's the first voicemail um, because he actually does make a good point. So we'll hear what? the guy yeah. with the bad sounding voicemails. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's the point. And, I'm, and I also just want to remind everyone, you will hear a, a voicemail from Tony from PA and in a, 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 a bit. And Tony records all of his voicemails on his phone, then sends them and they sound crisp and clear. So please do that. Hard factor. Yeah, follow at Tony. Yeah. Yeah, Tony. All right. Here's the voicemails. We'll just play them all the way through. Maybe Everybody. not yeah, some of his useless details. Right. I love you. Yes, again, out of Chicago. I called you guys several times. I just never stuck around to see if you played my voicemail. It doesn't matter if you do or not. But uh, most of the time I call, I guess, to bust your guys' balls. So... You can call me a douchebag if you want. Heaven knows all my ex-girlfriends think I'm a douchebag. But, uh, you know, when I listen to you guys, I thought the golden rule for radio was not to play videos. And I know, or at least I think you guys have a YouTube channel. So I guess for people that listen to that or watch that, it's all good. But I listen to you guys 100% as a podcast. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you play the videos... 90% of the time, nobody's explaining anything. Uh -huh. They sound interesting, don't get me wrong. But I'm just like, shit, man. I wish I knew what the fuck was going on here. But, uh, so yeah, I'm going to say that. Otherwise, man, I listen to you guys every day, man. I ride my bike, I listen to the Hard Factor. So that should tell you something, man. You guys are cool dudes. I wish I was near you guys. I'll probably hang out with you. You guys may not hang out with me, but He's riding his bike. Uh, I love you guys freeway. either way. So. <laughs> Chicago, I'll take right. my two cents for what it's worth. And, uh, and I'll keep riding my bike and listening to Hard Factor. Man. <laughs> right? safe out there, Jeff. Take care, boys. Thanks, Jeff. Peace Ciao. Out. Jeff sounds like a uh, Lombard yeah. trucking a lot. He does. Absolutely. Hey, boys. This is Derek from Lafayette, Louisiana. Big shout out out here. Yeah. Um, just watched the, or listened to the podcast on Wednesday talking about your girl Ronnie and the Uber driver right after Mark said something about leaving a, a, a poem, some, some user content. So I got, I got two for you. Nice. Roses mm. are red. Planes can crash. Ronnie should have shut the hell up and let homie smash. Uh, <laughs> another one would be roses are red. Folded paper is origami. Ronnie, calm down. Let that homeboy get the punani. Anyway, <laughs> like big it. shout out from Lafayette boys. We love you out here. Shout Have a great out. fucking day. And I think I can speak for all of the Hard Factor fans and say uh, we truly feel like one of the boys. We appreciate everything you do. Yes. Um, keep it up. Support you on everything. Just sent in the car. And uh, yes, love you, boys. Have a great Damn. fucking day. He's our good good good. Jeff, was, Jeff was awesome, too. Hey, boys. Right. Sound quality. I called this morning and left you a joke about Ronnie and the Uber this morning. I got one more joke I just uh, <laughs> nice. want to clear something up with. Roses are red. Mm -hmm. I want flew a drone but cheating on your wife that shit i do not condone nice just wanted to clear that up before y'all okay okay up. Oh, i got you okay. one more joke for you boys just to get his wife might be a listener go get drunk at a bar what the <laughs> fuck are y'all doing send in the car Yes. All right, boys. Yeah. Love y'all. Have a great fucking day. I like all four of those poems. We love though. Lafayette, too. Let me just real quick uh, pull up this Ronnie poll because he talked about Ronnie. Uh, on the Uber driver who exposed her cheating boyfriend, 30% uh, said good for her. Fuck that guy. 57% none of her business. She should stayed out of it. Yeah. 13% said she should have told the wife, but in a different way. There you go. I'm with the 57 or the 13. I, I, I can't condone the way she did it. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. I also look. His third poem, uh, uh, we're all on the same page. We're not cheaters. We're, we're you know, like we we don't condone that at all ever. But I don't know if she had all the information. I, I she probably was cheating, but like she just well, he certainly was. But it also well sounded like they were like gearing up for maybe a full on she, divorce. Right? She doesn't know family, any so. of the information, really. Yeah. That's so the whole point. If right. you're like a a close friend of the family, maybe tell her in a in a certain way. Exactly. But Ronnie doesn't know fucking anything about that family. Right. Right. It's none of her fucking business. It's none of her fucking business. Yeah. It's none. But I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have that necessarily. But I upset voted. And just, I was in that fifty-seven percent. I, you know, I would, I wouldn't have. I, I hope I didn't that guy gets all. divorced, and I hope I didn't vote at all. I hope his wife oh. takes him to the cleaners if he was cheating on her. But Ronnie had, should have had nothing to fucking do with it. I wouldn't have been mad at Ronnie if she had dropped the couple off, the cheating couple off, and then went back and been like, "Yo, you should check out where he went." But, but would you want? That. 
would you want Ronnie to tell you if, say, your wife? That's what I'm saying. Her. Yeah. If she if if like an Uber driver had come back to my house and been like, check out where they went. Like, yeah, yeah. sure. That's yeah. like that's a fair play. And that's not really hurting anybody because it's just telling the one other person. But right. if, kids if, thing. would yeah. I want a random Uber the driver to say it? No. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'd I want know. to find out. Yes, I would, I would want know. to know for sure. I wouldn't want yeah. the random Uber driver to have anything to do with. Oh, it. I don't give a fuck who I find out. <laughs> yeah, I want to find I'm out. I'm with Will. I just want to. Exact I want to revenge. Find out. Exact <laughs> revenge. All right, here we go. More voicemails. <laughs> Let's get her. <laughs> Hey boys, Tony from PA here. Oh, so um, I definitely miss Pat's left wing speech here on the show. Uh, I know that Mark, you're definitely trying, but Will just talks over anybody and everybody that he can. <laughs> but since I'm living here by myself, my uh, own apartment, I just wanted to know what you guys like, what your go to meal was on the weekends. Me, I just toss in whatever the fuck I want to my crock pot, and then it feeds me for, you know, three, four days. But interested to see what you guys were cooking uh, in your early 20s for the weekends. Probably a lot of pizza. Definitely had that also. But yeah. Uh, anyways, have a great weekend, guys. Love you. And have a great fucking day. All right. Real quick. What were, one meal you were cooking in your 20s. Any, were you cooking at all? No. no. Okay. No. I, mean, we cook, I mean, like grilling, that would be it. Right. No, man. I was eating like Subway. I had a ton of basmati rice in my in my twenties for some reason. Just a shit ton huh. of basmati rice. All right, grilling and that's it. Here we go. Do we, what it do you gorilla dick? Oh, also, gorilla really, really quick, pause it because it's VP Danny. Yes, but Tony's just mad because he's a Fetterman supporter, and it's okay, Tony. I know that. <laughs> don't don't be so upset. <laughs> Dan back in with a dish of crazy ass Vermont news. Uh, this one should definitely make your headlines. Uh, double shooting this past Sunday night, um, spreads across two towns very close to each other, uh, work in both, live in one, um, happened, one happened downtown Pine Street, um, then the suspect was seen after he shot a man, barge, barge into his apartment, shot a guy to death, he was seen driving by that scene, then he drove over to a shady ass motel in the Whoa. town I live in now, right, it's, it's very close, you know. There's Burlington, South Burlington, mile apart, uh, shot another guy. And then the police apprehend him, and he says, yeah, I shot both of them. Look up the article. I posted it in the Discord. It's crazy. Um, this dude worked at the food court in the mall no. that I work wow. at. Um, I've gone and gotten food from him many a times. Heard him turn around and yell at his employees in the back. And right from there, I knew there was something wrong with this dude. Like, yeah, I knew there was some potential in him. Some headline worthy news in this guy. Um, <laughs> Vermont is wild. Yeah. We're hot up here. Sounds like it. Block is hot in Vermont. Um, just small town vibes. Getting some big town city growing pains. That's all. VT Danny Dan out. I love you, boys. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. What song in California? So we just got fucking bamboozled tonight. Okay. So this whole entire Antonio Brown bullshit that's going on. They released the video and they censored out his dick and they made it seem like it was like they CGI Antonio Brown's <laughs> dick to make it look like it's bigger than it actually is. <laughs> you know why? It because all about it. It would take us it would take away the focus from us knowing how big of a piece of shit he is. And they literally just fucking CGI his dick to make it look like it's bigger than it is. <laughs> that way, like we would like uh, all focus on being like, wow, and Tony Brown got you talk bad. instead of being focused on him being a piece of shit, just so he could stay in the fucking news. I got the documents right here. I got the fucking I, documents right here. And, I agree uh, with that. I, I've been doing my fucking research on this shit, boys. Well, they blurred his hand <laughs> as part woke. of it. Antonio Brown does not have that hand. big of a hog. He's a giant piece of shit, and uh, it doesn't matter. But they they, they blurred he, the hand. He's a punch ball. And he has a very fucking punch face. But you guys, see, Colin is 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 yeah. It, it, it riled him up. That that cock riled up Colin. Who cares? How it really did. <laughs> He's like that. That cock's not that big. No, I see what he's saying. If you're not intimate with Antonio Brown, who cares? Exactly. I see what he's saying though, because he's just mad because of the way they blurred it. They blurred his hand, which was like over uh, his dick. Colin's head. just being hilarious, and I'm not coming yeah, at Colin. I'm I'm coming back at the fifty thousand people on Facebook. I don't. Right, Colin, Colin's Colin just left. Colin yes. just left a hilarious voicemail. That yes. was but that his was awesome. but his joke comes out of a out of yeah. a funny thought because they sure. did blur his hand, which was like oh, it was a big blur added, job. Yeah, yeah, it added length to the yeah, dick. They gave him an yeah, extra sure. finger. Yeah. yeah. All right. The boys, what's up, guys? It's DJ Asa, the architect. What's up, man? Um. 
one time. Yeah. Every week, I always go, I'm going to call in and do voicemail. And I always wake up and I'm like, oh, shit, it's Friday morning. I'm too late. So anyway, this is a really good one, the Jupiter. I, I blame Jupiter because, like you said, you guys were all rolling. So was I. I don't know how I gained 13 pounds in one week. I mean, I do know because I'm eating great. But it just happened, guys. Anyway, keep the good content coming up. Um, you know, I can't wait to see this Tammy the Realtor uh, voicemail. I mean, I'm sorry, excuse me. Tammy the Realtor uh, interview on Saturday. So yes. the 10-minute teaser was awesome. All right, guys, really? keep it up. Yo, when's Pat coming back? We want to know what's going on with Pat. Talk to you later. Please. Next week, I think, right? Good question. Should be next yeah. week, yeah. It's supposed so. to be next week. Yeah. Um, Okay, so yes, uh, the, the the interview with Tammy the Realtor will be coming out Saturday. Interesting uh, development in the Tammy the Realtor uh, saga. I reached out to uh, Leah Parker, who is Jody Good. Juggs on yeah. Instagram, and didn't think I was going to get a response, but lo and behold, I did. Uh, I said, hey, Leah, we would love to have you on the pod to tell your story. Would be great for your fans. Thanks. And then she says, this, this dude probably says would be happy to honey let me have the details so i gave her the details yeah. still waiting for a response yeah the so, details are it's a video uh interview mm -hmm. that's Leah. right so yeah. yeah we'll see what happens um huh. yeah so no response from leah on that one yeah no huh? response from leah also that's uh, crazy yeah crazy well, we got to find out who could it is. you imagine if we got a video interview with with leah parker that would be i mean if uh, she's real huge yeah it, it's going to blow the lid off the whole thing. I oh, mean, Tammy will be beside herself. There's really no place I'd rather be than in the middle of the big boob world controversy scene. Like, Absolutely. That's, oh, yeah. That's, that's Absolutely. the best. Yeah. Um, it's a also, comfortable place to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing before we uh, spin the wheel, touching on uh, what uh, Asa was talking about, uh, eating and the fatathon. Oh, um, well, here's what, what, here's what Will said. I had a bad week. Just mark me down for plus two. That's what it was yesterday, but I'm in shambles on the diet uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> from hosting the parents last weekend and having all the leftovers in the house now. So we didn't get weigh-ins from Mark or Will this week. I gained a pound. Who knows how much? These I gained two. No, nah, with my eyes, I got a weigh-in, <laughs> and I, I'm one more At up. At some Lester's point, I was week. like plus two. My, some points, I was higher than that. I with don't know. My really eyes, I got a weigh-in, but I have not yeah. weighed myself since that plus two, and I've been. I can't. I mean, I can't. It's it's horrible. I, yeah. I, I'm falling apart. We need. I need to talk to Thor. I'm I got to reach out to too. Thor. I yeah, got to get no, some all, more motivation because I'm not this morning. All three of us. Yeah, it was bad. Falling apart. I'm, I'm, I need to hurry up and go to Hop Dotties. There you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going on. I, I'm hoping to turn it around over the weekend, but. I don't I have will be a cup of coffee to. on Sunday. Or is that high five? Monday. Oh, that's high five. You're right. Ooh, that's high five. Leave, leave, your, oh, leave yourself high on the board. Again. High five. Oh, crap. Wes is high five. High five, high five again. Forgot. And coffee. And coffee. Whoa. Whoa. The wheel loves Wes. Whoa. Oh, oh no. Oh. 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 That, that might be the close. closest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that might Take be the a closest. screenshot of that. Holy moly. <laughs> I got a West? screenshot. So I got it. Close. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Wheel. <laughs> All right. There you go. <sighs> All on West next week. All on me. Um, that'll do it for this week. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to check out our sponsors, Mizzen and Maine, my bookie. Use our promo code. Check out yeah. store uh, uh, store.hardfactor.com. I believe it is the uh, the uh, shirts are That's still the in one. there and they really help us out. Uh, shout out Tampa. Shout out St. Pete will help out hurricane relief as well. So yeah, right. absolutely. Toss right. that one onto your order Feel with whatever leave, else uh, you're ordering. You comment get charity. Antonio Brown Facebook thing because that's the abyss. I mean, you might yeah. as well just throw something in there. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And be sure to check out the interview, full interview coming out tomorrow on YouTube with Tammy the mm -hmm. Realtor. But most importantly, we love you. Have a great fucking weekend.